Hey, how's it going, people? Uh, listen, it's been weeks and weeks since I've done a beer review, and it's not my fault. It's specifically because there's not really too many new beers coming out, and I've reviewed a lot of the general beer uh, that comes out annually or, or just locally throughout the area. Um, today, there's a brand new beer that's come out. It's called the Wellington Imperial Russian Stout. Um, I was going to say, maybe this was one of those beers that they had coming in their uh, assorted four packs, but when I realized that this was 8% ABV, I realized that we were getting into something a little bit more complicated than the, the usual Wellington Brewery beers. So, for those who are not familiar, um, well, the Wellington Brewery is Canada's uh, oldest indie microbrewery. Uh, it is full-bodied and complex Wellington Imperial Russian Stout. Uh, is one of the oldest beers brewed in Ontario. With an inviting aroma of dark chocolate and coffee, Imperial Russian Stout has a smooth, full-bodied flat flavor patterned after the highly fortified stouts that were exported from the UK to Russia in the 1800s. Embrace the darkness and try a Wellion, which is typical of what they usually say. Um, one thing that's actually a little bit sad here... Oh, no, no. Guelph, Ontario. Didn't want to miss it, people. WellingtonBrewery.ca. It's a 430 milliliter strong stout. So I don't have a Wellington glass, so I'm just going to be drinking it out of, you know, a glass that can actually fit this beer in it. It'll be a Sapporo branded pint glass, like typical of holding up to approximately 500 milliliters. So uh, that's what I'm about to do here, people. Ooh, sprayed some stout everywhere. Stouts are generally my favorite type of beer. Uh, I like almost all beers, everything but Pilsners, but Stouts just really, really have something going for me. Uh, and for those who are not familiar with this, Stouts, being that much heavier than your average beer, tend to have almost double the amount of calories uh, per beer. So if you're trying to save some weight out there, I wouldn't be dipping into a six-pack of this anytime soon. Uh, as you can tell by uh, this Stout here, Typical color, black all the way through. Doesn't really have like a red tint along the bottom corners, which uh, a lot of stouts ha happen to have on average. We have a very, very dark head here. If I were to take away the light, you can see how much darker it is. It's very caramelized, uh, brown sugary looking head. Uh, small, medium, large bubbles. And the one thing that I'm going to say right away that I'm noticing, and this is going to be uh, really, really sad for me, is that the head is almost gone already. So that is already a sign of a, a weaker beer. I apologize, uh, Wellington. I was kind of actually hoping that this was uh, going to be from Wellington, Wellington, Ontario, but it was from Guelph. Not really picking up on much of the aromas, uh, not even getting an alcoholic aroma. I just kind of smell like a dark, stouty beer. That's about it. All right, it tastes as an imperial stout should. Now by that, I'm, get, I'm talking about a very, very dark, dark, uh, toffee, chocolatey kind of flavor that you're picking up from it. It almost has this kind of molasses, um, not like texture, but taste uh, in, in, on your palate. It stays right in the center of your palate and it's very, very pleasant actually. This reminds me of a lot of beers, actually. It reminds me of uh, the Fuller's Double Imperial Stout. And uh, a lot of beers of that caliber. <laughs> what did I say about that head? It doesn't exist. It's gone. Very, very sad. Um, I love... Okay, let's put it this way. The reason I am so disappointed with the head is that in a stout of this caliber... Half of the flavors that you're picking up from this beer are going to be in the head. So when you take away the head, it's almost like you take away the flavor. Um, that being said, sure, this is a full-bodied beer. Uh, you are getting that well, full-rounded stout, sorry, imperial stout taste. 
even without the head. But, you know, the head, it's, it's like a kicker, you know, it's like a bonus. Uh, it's something that we want. So, it's really sad that it worked out that way, but uh, I will be letting people in the beer community know about this beer because I have a lot of stout friends. Um, aside from that, it's pretty much all I can say. Uh, you don't really pick up on the 8%. Uh, you probably might feel it eventually. It seems like it's going to be one of those types of beers. But, uh, you know, like it said, well-rounded, full-bodied. Um, only major complaint is the head. So that's it, people. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. I'm going to give this a uh, 6 out of 10. So pissed off about the head, but that's all I'm going to say. Um, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Wellington Brewery, I feel like you would be doing yourself a favor by putting this into bottles. Anyways, people, what do you think? Let me know. Cheers.